Yeah, look, it's a really tough time for, for everyone at the footy club, but um, uh, and unfortunately our assistant coaches are, are no exception to that. They've, um, at this point, you know, in a stood down position, uh, which is similar to a lot of people around the community. It's a tough time for them. What we're, we're making sure is we stay connected. We're doing whatever we can to, to get ourselves on platforms, um, you know, on Zoom and, and Skype and, and chatting over those, uh, over those platforms. We're probably talking a little less footy than we normally would, more about family, about life. Um, it's amazing how your priorities uh, slightly change in tough periods like this, but we're doing whatever we can to look after our people. Oh, personally, um, you know, it's a really tough time. It's, uh, it's no tougher um, for me than what it is for, for everyone else. But, um, you know, it, there are some silver linings to come out of this. It's, it's more time spent with family. Uh, it's more time for us to work on what has been a new game plan we're bringing in for our players. Um, so I like to look at the positives through all of this, um, try to stay away from the negatives with it, try to stay up and about and make sure that I'm doing whatever I can to to make other people in, uh, enjoy their time with, with loved ones. Oh look, we, we definitely want to play faster with the footy and we want to play a more exciting brand when we have the ball in hand. Um, unfortunately, what a lot of people don't understand is that you have to win the ball back. Um, so that defence needs to be at a point. We'd love to have both, you know, the Sydney defensive, uh, I guess, level um, into what, what people are saying is an amazing Richmond offensive level. But I would say Richmond have a pretty strong defence as well. We'd, we'd like to emulate that and go past them. Oh, there's no doubt you're going to see uh, some youth come into our side. And we've got some fantastic young footballers that are just waiting for their opportunity. Um, you know, Will Hamill's right there knocking on the door, ready to step up. You've already seen Tyson Stengel come in, Benny Davis get his opportunity. Um, you know, Butts is another one that I know people are going to love to see come in at some point throughout the season. So we're really looking forward to some of these young guys, um, I guess, putting their best foot forward uh, and showing you guys what they've got. Yeah, we are. Look, I mean, round one, really, you look at the, the result and we got off on the wrong foot from centre bounce with a 5 to 20 uh, scoreline in that area. Unfortunately, it's not the way we want to be in there, but what it has done is given us an opportunity now to make sure we get that right. Uh, we're spending a lot of time with our group. Um, they'll be small changes, they won't be, ma they won't be major. Um, and I no doubt our guys will rectify that into round two. I think the most positive thing from the game really was um, you know, off the back of some of our, our ball movement, when we were able to get that going, um, we showed that we can score and we can move the ball in an exciting manner um, and quickly up, up the ground. Unfortunately, uh, you know, when the ball was coming out of the centre and we were forced to do that from our back half, it's really tough to do that for a full game, especially against a side like Sydney. But a lot of positives have come out of the game. Um, you know, we saw our forwards fight and compete all day. Uh, we just want to give them more opportunity now in the, in the coming rounds. Uh, how you going Cameron? Thanks for the question. Uh, yeah, I do remember your old man. Um, yeah, we go way back up in, uh, up back to the Blackwood days. Um, yeah, we will have open sessions. Uh, we're really keen to have our supporters and members and fans all come down to the session and support us. Uh, the players love training when we, we have supporters there. So we'll open those up. We'll have a signing session. Uh, it'll be great to see you there on the day. Uh, yeah, look, having shorter quarters um, changes the dynamic of the game, but I actually really enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching other games over the weekend, uh, you know, on, on Friday and Saturday night, but I, um, I also enjoyed coaching in it. I think our players found it um, a slightly different dynamic. Obviously, the game being that little bit shorter, um, it's going to change the way we go about training, but I think it's really exciting moving forward if the AFL decide that's the way to go. Uh, that, that's a really good question. Well, for starters, I'm over the moon. Um, we're in the grand final. Five goals down, we can fight back from there. Uh, and no doubt, um, just ask Tiles. He's reasonably confident that he can mark the ball forward and kick goals. Or it might be a fisher Mackesy that we slide forward. Uh, really, we're quite flexible around where players play. And I, I love players that can play multiple roles. And we've already seen that. Uh, with young Fisher um, in the Marsh series, we, we slid him forward for a tiny period trying to, trying to win the game. Uh, look, the most memorable one for me is, is the Leo Barry one, because that's the moment that, um, that the siren went and um, I guess you ach achieved the ultimate. Um, not being out there with the 22 was, uh, was tough, but um, you know, I was definitely part of that group 
post um, and been able to go out in the ground and, and enjoy that, that period for the next hour or so afterwards. So Leo Barry, you star, stands out for, for me by a mile. Uh, yeah, look, it, it's an interesting one because um, it is the game that stands out. It's the only decent one I've played for my whole career. So, um, are you saying I'm a mudder, like a, a wet weather player? Um, I was much better in the dry and my hair was a testament to that. Unfortunately, I, I shaved my head far too late. I reckon as a 21-year-old I was going bald, but it was an enjoyable game. But I've had, I've had much more enjoyable games um, where we've been able to win as a team. Uh, you know, we came over here. Um, played against Port Adelaide in a final where we were able to get across the line as underdogs. So there are a lot better, more memorable games, but that one from an individual point of view no doubt stands out.